This is going to be a quick video on SS Credit 4.3 Alternative Transportation, Low Emitting and Fuel Efficient Vehicles under LEED 2009 New Construction and Major Renovation. The intent of this credit is to reduce pollution and land development impacts from automobile use. It's worth three points and there are four options to meet the criteria to satisfy this requirement. Option 1 is broken up into two parts, so I just called it Part A and Part B. Part A is to provide preferred parking for low emitting and fuel efficient vehicles for 5% of the total vehicle parking capacity of the site. As an example, we've got a building with a parking lot with 40 parking spots. 5% of those 40 spots is 2 parking spots, which means that 2 preferred parking vehicle locations are reserved for low emission fuel efficient vehicles. All right, here we are at a parking lot for a building that's going for LEED certification, as you can see, standing by a parking sign, parking for hybrid and eco-friendly vehicles only. There's a portion of the parking lot spaces that have to be allocated toward it. Part B of option one is to provide at least a 20% parking fee discount for fuel-efficient vehicles to all customers of the parking garage posted at the entrance to the parking area and available for at least two years. In this example, we've got a parking garage entrance outside of our lead building that's going for SS Credit 4.3. As you can see, they've got their sign posted out front. Vehicle parking is $5. Fuel efficient low emission vehicles is only $4. Quick math, 20% of $5 is a $1 discount. $5 regular cost minus the discount is the $4 discounted rate. Uh, two years later, the owner could decide to eliminate this contract. and make all vehicles pay the same price. Under option two, the owner needs to provide alternative fueling stations for 3% of the parking capacity. For example, say the building's parking capacity is 100 spots. That means the owner would need to provide alternative fueling stations for at least three vehicles. And he would need to provide preferred parking for those three vehicles. Under option 3, the owner needs to provide low emitting or fuel efficient vehicles for 3% of the full time equivalent occupants of the building. So say you have 100 employees, that means the owner would give 3 fuel efficient low, efficient, low emission vehicles to 3 employees, probably making them very happy. Under option 4, the owner needs to provide building occupants access to a low emitting or fuel efficient vehicle sharing program which means he needs to provide one low emission fuel efficient vehicle per 3% of the building's full time occupancy. And that contract for that sharing program needs to last at least two years. How the math breaks down on this, let's just assume a low emission fuel efficient vehicle can seat eight. That vehicle would satisfy this requirement for a company with 267 full time equivalent occupants. Just to show how I got the math on that, you take the eight, per eight person seating capacity of the vehicle divided by 3% and you get 267.66 full time equivalent occupants or 3% of 267 is the eight person seating capacity of the vehicle. For buildings with less than 267 full time equivalent occupants, the owner still needs to provide at least one fuel efficient low emission vehicle to its employees and that vehicle sharing contract only needs to be provided for two years. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more educational videos on LEED construction, please visit us at www.leadforcontractors.com.